And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 9th of August 2023. Happy Wednesday to you all. It's Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Of course, overnight, we saw losses across all US indices as rating agency Moody's dropped their rating on 10 US banks. That's twitched the markets on the back of what happened last week with uh, Fitch's rating uh, of the US generally. Earnings do continue to surprise generally as we enter really the last week of major business. But of course, this week's US CPI, which is due tomorrow, will influence sentiment going forward and the inference in terms of Fed policy. US futures are just above neutral in the Asian session. NASDAQ slightly outperforming at this stage. Asian markets are mixed in early trading with the ASX managing to eke out small gains of 0.1%. European futures are pointing to a slightly higher open. The VIX remains near historical low levels. The US dollar index finished higher yesterday. And as a result, we saw gold and copper drop to test key levels. Gold is looking slightly better in Asia today at this stage. Oil paused near resistance level after their run up last week, but still looks to be some positivity in terms of a potential move higher from where we are right now. Today's EIA data may influence oil price, of course. Bitcoin had a good day yesterday, bounced off that support of 29,000, moved to test that 30,000 level. It has been in this range for a couple of weeks now, so that test is quite important in terms of what may happen next. And of course, earnings continue. We've got very little data out again today before we ramp up over the next few days. We have had Chinese PPI and CPI out already, which both beat expectations but are still deflationary. Little else of note, although the US 10 year Treasury auction may influence the USD later on tonight a couple of charts at core ri today uh, we're going to start with the euro aussie and we'll have a look at the daily chart here and you can see the increasing importance of this level at 167.53 we've tested it five out of the last five days really and you can see yesterday we had a peak of around about 168.60 before again dropping off towards the back end of the session we're slightly positive again today let's just have a look at an hourly chart and you can see there there's that drop off after hitting that high so what we are thinking is perhaps if we get a breach of today's high which is also this key level here yesterday before we got that run up then we could have quite a nice move up maybe even to test the highs of yesterday so that would represent a potential move to the upside of around about 70 pips. So one to keep an eye on. Be patient and see if we do get a breach of 167.85. And we would suggest that there may be some momentum to push it upwards from there. On the SX, well, I can seek ticker code SEK. Uh, you can see here a potential challenge of previous resistance at around about 25.77. Arguably, you could have said that that was a previous resistance at 25.19, but the short distance between that and this level here suggests that perhaps it's worthwhile being patient for a higher probability trade for a move over there. If we look at the weekly chart to see what the potential of this is, you can see quite a lot of upside as well as the significance of this level historically. So maybe a move up towards $28 is on the cards if we get any buying pressure coming in. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.